You know, I think we've had a, a really wonderful few years for this disease. And one of the most exciting things for um, gastrointestinal neuroendocrine tumors is the growth in the number of therapies um, that we now have to treat the disease. And so as I really tried to emphasize during my session, um, one of the biggest challenges for us now as providers is that we have all of these therapies to play with and we're trying to figure out how to sequence all of these therapies. I think our, our greatest excitement um, in this disease is now a role for radio label therapies and treating the disease. And so a lot of the ongoing work is on how do we make these therapies more effective and how do we sequence these therapies? I think some of the other very, very exciting work is more prospective data looking at chemotherapy, specifically in pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. And so now we have kind of clear prospective data from um, the E2211 ECOG study demonstrating a role for capecitabine and temozolomide in pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors.